Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Italian Lover, but right now, this is definitely not where we left off last time. The Reich's Pact has fallen apart. We've already capitulated them, and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to take off Austria because I like Austria. But we're looking okay. Um, I've also gone to war with the Reich's Pact when they were about to die, so that's why we're still at war with two Sicilies here. Uh, casualty wise, we've. Oh, that's, that's Sardinia, the Entente. Um, overall, not too bad. We've taken quite a few casualties against the Commune of France, so basically, we went to war with them. We're struggling to push the SRI into non-existence. Ah, 5% more. It's all we need is 5% more. And we're also fighting two Sicilies, too. So, uh, overall, once they capitulate, that'd be pretty good for us. Even though this is looking pretty darn bad. Um, got some comms to go through. And we do have an open border with these guys. But I did force, basically, the 3rd International to fight the Moscow Accord. Just so it makes it a little easier for us. Because I'm not honestly sure what we can, you know, really do about this here. So, uh, and I did make sure that we had the South German Confederation as a puppet as well. Just because... Why not? Why not? But we're doing rule of seas currently. So, I think I read this one, so if you want to read it again, please go right ahead. But after that one, what are we going to do? That is a good question. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess nothing else. I guess we're done. Um, I'm not really honestly sure like what we're supposed to do here in terms of... Ooh, suppressing subjects. Uh, construction speed, air production, resistance. We can do super resistance stuff. Um, like, how we're supposed to reunify Italy? Like, it's not easy. It's really not easy. I mean, look at all this stuff. Look at all the enemies, that, the divisions that they have. It's really... Part of it just kind of know, waiting around, I suppose. Uh, and, of course, it was captured. Uh, sure, German East Asia. We'll definitely do that. Recon Company 3 would be pretty nice, too. And it is 1943. So, let's get some more alpha, shall we? Yes, we shall. Agent was captured, huh? Ah, the Commune of France. Okay, so you guys come over here. Hopefully, we can rescue that person. If not, it is what it is. But, my goal sort of is, ish... To uh, finish this stuff off, which we're almost done too. But, like, make them attack us a little bit more. They have a lot of divisions, and honestly, I just don't think we can attack and do well here. There's just too many divisions. So, yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, whatever. We have some tanks here to help us keep an eye on the, the fleets or naval stuff. Um, we lost a couple more ships. Don't ask questions. Yeah, I totally didn't lose more ships. Totally did not. Ooh, the fall of Detroit. Oh, goodbye, Detroit. A blow to the syndicalists for sure. Ooh, that sucks. Who else? Those guys. Um, honestly, this says capitulate. I would love, 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 love it. Support those guys. Get a claim on Sud Tyrol. Or a claim where the area is weak. Sud Tyrol is an extension of Trentino. It was once part of the Roman domain. It is in our interest to establish a permanent claim on the region. Unite Italy. We need Piedmont, Romagna, and Tuscany. Well, we need that one. Tuscany's down here. So we just need to fully annex and hold it. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. I just don't want to attack, because we're because I made our guys 40 combos, so we're out of weaponry, but still not that bad. But still. But still. You guys actually win, like, right here? Maybe not here-ish. But here, yes. Hey, it's like a gun boy. Very nice, very nice. Some more land out attack. Yeah, these guys are just stacking bodies here. It's ridiculous. Uh, we took that. Very nice. Help them out. If I help them out, I mean, kill them off. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Um, as you can see, the Russian Empire is doing quite well against these guys, too, so. Uh, we'll get some comms to go through, and, like I said, ooh, and. There you go, do that. Commander training. And let's finish it off with some yummy, yummy suicide pills. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Cool. Uh. We might actually be able to do that, maybe. As you can tell, our divisions aren't super strong, so... Oh, they cancel only, so that sucks. Sure, Prussia, sure. Not a Christian pact. Alright, not bad, not bad. Could you guys put some pressure on here, too? Hmm... Is this... Ooh, ooh, ooh... Maybe? Some Ger German boys right there. Eh, we can't really support the attacks. I mean, these guys are 40 combat with as well, so... Yeah, there's no point doing that. Hello! Oh, crap, this is not good. Uh, this happened earlier, too. Um, yeah, that's what I don't like about this. Just because they're just going to continue to navally invade, and that's why I hate playing Italy. Just because they continue to navally invade, which is god-awful and sucks so much. Go in and kill them off. Go. And you've got to win right now.
Do not give them a single inch. Yeah, do not let them get any supply and stuff like that, too. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, not great. Not, really not great. If anything, then happy guys over here, too. Oh, my God. I hate this so much. I hate playing Italy. I really do. It's not fun because of all the crap like this. Uh, for you guys, though, you should be able to win right here. Pretty easily. Pretty darn easily. Uh, come on. Stop letting them spread out. Move, move, move. What the heck's taking you so long? How are they winning? Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, sometimes... I swear to God, like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we have red air, but they live in no planes here. You're gonna force defense there, son. You're gonna have to. Go to Tony. Take all victory points. It says you guys could win. You might as well try it. Take, 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 take. Do not let them move. This thing's looking so bad, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Especially here, you might as well do that, too. Good. Suicide pills are yummy. What the heck? Kill them off, kill them off. Support the attack. There you go. Don't let him escape. They chose death. They chose it. How did you lose? Oh! Yay! The SRI is gone. That's actually really great. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, the SRI is gone. Wait, oh! How did they... Did you guys actually win here? Kind of doubt it. But if you can, that'd be great. But it doesn't look like you can, so you guys suck. Um, guess you did win there, so. Don't let him move. Take as much of the territory as you possibly can right now. Come on. Good. Don't, don't, make sure you don't lose that either. You've got to win right here. You've got to. How are we still fighting here? My god. Oh, so bad, I know. So you're the tank. You're these guys. And you're still hanging out. Um, you come over here. I need you to just do be like garrison for now. I shouldn't be using 40 combats for this, but whatever. Good luck. Wow, could not win, huh? Oh my god, please stop naval invading us. Please, for the love of god, stop it. Go, 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 go. Jesus Christ! Okay, so... Actually, we're doing pretty well in Germany, actually. Look at that. That ain't too bad. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Seriously? Seriously. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't like this part of Kaiserreich. I really don't. I hate playing Italy. I hate, I really hate playing Italy. This is so not fun. So, no, so, so, so not fun. Let's go in here. What the heck is going on down there? Wow. Alright, uh, I don't want you to go too crazy, so just do that for now. Uh, is this supposed to be fun? Because this is definitely not fun. 100% unfun. Um, go here, too. Yeah, it just... Italy is just not a fun nation to play as. And they cut us off. So, I'm going to deal with this off-screen. I'll be honest, this part of the campaign is incredibly boring for me. It might be boring for you, too, so... Uh, let's see. Erode Italian legitimacy. Italian government has been defeated and is now in exile. Considering their claims, the legitimacy is far from absolute. We should be able to wear down the Italian resistance given enough time. Cool. And we'll do that, too, because i got nothing else to do with the political power. And I'll see you in a little bit once the Reds have decided to, you know, kick the bucket a little and bit more. And here we're at, everybody, which we've actually pushed on a little bit more. The Commune of France capitulated to the Russians. Um, and as you can see, we're we're killing off every single last little piece of crap Red Italian here. So, yeah, the Russians doing okay. <clears throat> we're doing okay ourselves. Also, two Sicilies did capitulate, so... Which is pretty nice. So, finally, they're all gone, thank God. And can we... Oh, we're going to erode some uh, Commune Art Legitimacy. Yes, please, do it twice. Somebody up there, which... I don't understand why this is not done. 
Unite Italy. We own Piedmont. We own Romagna. We own Tuscany. Don't we? Do we not? Liguria? Piedmont? We own the capital city there, so... I mean, I guess we don't have Sicily, but like... Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. I'll be honest, like, this is... This, as you can tell from the last episode in this campaign, just because I, I'm kind of tired of it. I hate this whole just taking forever, trying to push, like, a whole, like, inch for, like, 20,000 years. It's not a lot of fun, so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do some things off screen for, like, console commands and such, just to make sure that these guys capitulate, because sometimes the AI is just incredibly stupid. Um, we have an incredibly stupid AI in Hoi 4, which you know, but, like, Trying to get them to invade the Union of Britain is nearly possible, especially as America's still trying to fight the Civil War. Uh, but yeah, like, that's why I don't like playing, they don't really want to play Italy too much, just because it's, it's, it, there's nothing you can do. There's literally no way you can break the mountains and the fortresses as Italy, especially with infantry. Fall of Baton Rouge, huh? American Union State's gone, which is fine, whatever. But other than that, not really much as it really happened, so, yeah. I mean, how are we going to supposed to break this with no navy, basically? No marines. And we have a few mountaineers, but there's like nothing you can do about that, which... Makes it so much fun, but I'm going to do some more stuff off screen to make it so that uh, the AI have actually invades the Union of Britain, so that this way we can actually kill them off. So, yeah. I'll see you all just again in a little bit. Alright, everyone. So, honestly, like, I've gotten tired of this campaign. Like, I don't, I don't want to sound too negative, but just like, by the time you get to 1944 and you're just grinding away enemies, it's just not a lot of fun. So, the second Battle Creek is over, and which we actually can do Unite Italy. It's once again united. We must work on reintegrating our nation. So, honestly... I don't know. That's why I don't like playing Italy. It's just, it's difficult to play Italy. It's not a lot of fun. It's really not. There's nothing you can do, like I said earlier. You just, you just kind of sit there, like, let the enemy grind up on you. It's not like you can use tanks, and tanks get, like, destroyed in mountains super easily. There's a lot of attrition. But, like, I'm just bored. I'm just bored throughout this. But, restore, like, I, what do you mean we don't, we don't own Piedmont? Uh, you sure about that, son? You are sure about that? Restore order in Latium? I don't know why we couldn't do any of this stuff, like, during the war. Like, I get part of it, like, if you don't own everything, that's one thing, but, like, but, like, why can't we do it during the war? Tax Sardinia? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. I'm, 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 I'll be honest, like, I'm tired of this campaign a little bit, but new economy. With Italy United, we should now focus on the economic development for those parts of the country which we were once lost to us, so. I'm just, I just, I'm tired of it. I really don't like, you know, just sitting here for hours, just grinding away at enemies. It's not fun. It's really not fun. Oh, look, it's coming to France, which we gave, of course, to uh, Russia, because they deserve pretty much everything. I just wanted all of, well, Italy, so. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. What are your strategies? Let me know in the comments below. Like, what do you do when you're trying to reunite Italy? Because it's just a slog fest. I don't like playing them, man. Oh, Russia State took this, these guys too, huh? Alright, whatever. Oh, the Verona Trials. The United States of Rome, another trial for the leaders of the Socialist Republic of Italy, has begun. Unsurprisingly, Mussolini and his latter found guilty of betraying Italy and sentenced to death. This turns out to be their fate for the rest of the leadership team. Oh, look at this. Um, of the False Republic, of course. Cynicalism is now dead. Death of Mussolini and his traitors. Our government scored a minor diplomatic victory. Now, Switzerland has recently decided to return Campion, a former Italian exclave in Tessino, back to us. The Lexi Commune question was temporarily put under Swiss protection following the start of the Italian Civil War in 1919. Now that the country is reunified again, the Swiss found no reason to keep the Campion away from us any longer. Evivia. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. So why can't we core any of this stuff? I guess we don't have cores nearby. Which, like I said, I don't understand why we cannot do that during the war. It makes more sense to start converting these people immediately, especially if the front line is pretty solidified. So, I don't know. There's, there's issues in Kaiserreich that I still have with it, the mod itself, so... But with Russia owning the UK, I wonder what's going to happen. 44, 43. Give a bonus for this one. We must go that way. Who's this? England? England led by Ludovici. Which I don't think I've ever seen before. And then we have Scotland too. Mr. Glasses under Arthur Donaldson. And you, Philippe Corbett. And is it Flanders Valonia or Belgium? It's Belgium. Ah, Leon de Graal. Look at that guy. That's cool. Of course, we have Prussia here. Otto Kantorak. Russian Free State still owns that. Key point bombing. But yeah, I'm just... Falls up Lisbon. Oh yeah, the Russian Federation is... Or Fer Russian, Russian State is fighting, um... The Antan. Just... I don't understand why we can't join the Russian faction. Oh god, it's lagging super hard. Is it Germany getting released? No. I don't know who got released. Huh. Or maybe Armenia? Iraq? Alright, come on, Kaiserreich. Stop lagging so hard. Oh my god, it's lagging so hard I can see my blue mouse. I'm sorry, I'm being so, like, 
like negative in this video. Just I want things to work properly, and sometimes these things, such as mods and Hoy Four, just don't work properly, man. They just don't. Or what's it, is it America? Oh my God! Please stop lagging so much, Jesus Christ! Like it's wh who's being released? Oh my God! I see what's being released. Jesus Christ! I hate the AI. I really hate this AI. Why would you release 6,000 different Brazils? Oh, I know there's only like 8 of them, but still. No one needs that many Brazils. We don't even need one Brazil. Well, maybe we do need one Brazil, but eh. And there's Bahia. Oh, there goes the PSA. Goodbye. Good riddance. See you later. I also gave this to South German Federation, so I figured, eh, because why not. And the American Civil War is over. Nice. And America's back. Should be. Should be back, right? Yeah, they're back. Wow, it took him to 44, but whatever. Um, honestly, I'm really tired of this campaign. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, so I'm going to read through a lot of these, and we'll see what happens with, with that. Armaments facilities in the newly rid of parts of Italy can be easily expanded by issuing contracts to these facilities. We can encourage enlargement. Synthetic research. Our nation lacks domestic resources of oil and rubber. We can't ever produce these from the great bounty of natural resources on the Italian Peninsula. New industry program. Hello. Uh, with Italy's factors now once again in position to serve Italy, we should work together to integrate them into our nation. Expand dockyards. The ports of much of the country lie in ruin. We must expand and renovate them. Expand ports, or airports. The aviation industry is growing rapidly over the world over. We should be at the forefront of this new economic sector. With the Ostro Altostrada has been a boon to northeast Italy, and with the rest of the land under our control, we can expand it throughout the peninsula. Industrialize the south. The south has always lagged behind its industrial development. We must work to close this gap. Factors of, of Italy. Much of Italy remains underdeveloped. If we're to truly become one of the great powers of Europe, this must change, which... Honestly, by the time we get to reunification, there's nothing you can do in the campaign. But, uh, expand research institutes. Our newly found research institutes have been effective in closing the technological gap between our nation and other powers of Europe. Let's reform our parts of our research apparatus, which have proven ineffective and streamlined the entire production. Grab that one. And, Italian miracle. Italy reunited and recovered from her previous troubles and surged forth onto the world stage as one of Europe's largest economies. And Italy is reborn. Like the phoenix rising anew, Italy has been reborn. Now the very identity of our nation has, must be cemented. Like the Romans of old, the Republic will be abolished forever and an Imperium shall rise. Well, I don't know about that, but Italy is united. When it is done, Italy beautiful, Italy is whole again. In the hearts of all patriots, this moment shall forever be remembered. Recruit Sicilian generals, the Sicilians of Sicilian officer corps, however detestable its former king may have been, undoubtedly has many competent generals. Should these generals be allowed to serve Italy? A stable Italian Republic. Our politics have been unstable since the Civil War ended, but now with the Italian Republic ruling over all of Italy, we can finally end the instability and the, that has been plaguing us for years. Italian Irredentism Policy With Italy reunited and most of the pressing issues of domestic policy resolved, we can look out wards, especially those lands which by the right should be Italian, and recruit Sardinian generals, which, well, I don't know if we can actually do, but... Many good men fought and died for Sardinia, now with the wounds of the war beginning to heal, the fate of Sardinia's generals must be decided, in which I'm going to go and do a lot of stuff off screen just because... Um, there's, there's no, I'm not going to go to war anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to go to war. It's so boring. Kaiserreich is so boring sometimes. But some comments include, why do I skip so much between episodes? It's because there's nothing going on. There's literally nothing going on. Going on. And I don't want to bore you too much. I don't want to bore myself too much either. So I, I I like to skip around a whole bunch just because there's I don't want to waste your time. So you know, I might go to war with the Anton just so I can claim these guys. But we'll see what happens. And yes, I agree. The peace deal between us and the Danubian Federation is a joke. And I honestly should get looked at, like, Kaiserreich really needs a major update for 2021, or even 2022, but I'll see you in just a little bit. The Italian Empire, with their victory over the Austrians, we can now declare an Italian Empire. Wait, Austrian Empire? Or Austrians? No longer will Italy be able to be shackled by foreign powers, she will rule her own destiny. Avanti Italia. Well, we know it's Italian Imperium, but, wait, we have to be the, wait, because I just, because that was from Italy's Reborn. And we're doing recruit Sicilian generals. Of course, the Sicilian officer corps, however detestable as former king may have been, undoubtedly has many competent generals. Should these generals be allowed to serve Italy? Did we? Um, don't we have to like have all of Italy reunited to get this one done? So why does it talk about it Austria? That doesn't make any sense. Well, the economy is strong. A number of fashion designers in Milan I decided to set up a week-long event in the spring so that Milan and with Italy can become the fashion capital of the world. Already, a number of the various fashion companies are working to make sure that Milan takes pride of place among the cultural and fashion capitals of the world. Milan should be the fashion capital of the world. Cool. But uh, like I said, like okay, so between this fade in and fade out from the last episode, like not the last episode, but earlier, I'm like I took a little bit of a break, I calmed down a little bit, but just like it's 1945, as you can tell. 
And literally, we would, if we want to continue this campaign, we'd be fighting, like, the entire Moscow court at full strength. Like, bro, there's no way we're going to be able to... They don't scrape in the barrel. 15, 16 million men. Alone. Prussia has how much? Like, 300,000? Uh, 800,000. Russia City, of course, is over there. The French Commune, or French, I guess, just France, I guess. Uh, Yugoslavia, Hungary, Czechia. Hungary has a million, almost. Uh, 150,000 ish, Romania, Bulgaria. Uh, Greece is in the Entente, but this is part of, I guess. Oh, that was part of the Entente. Um, but yeah, it's just. I'd like to, but by the time you reunify Italy and do the Italian Imperium, there's not much we can do, but we can read about this stuff. Tensino is a region of Switzerland primarily inhabited by Italians, and it is an inner interest to establish a more permanent uh, claim on the region. Creation of Emilia Milgia. With it, Italy once more reunited, a number of automotive companies and auto enthusiasts have come up with what they believe will be the premier racing and competition in Italy. The Emilia Miglia. The Emilia Miglia, a thousand miles, starts in Brescia and goes all the way down to Rome before returning via a different route to Brescia. Let's watch him go. Cool. Um, technically, Anton's not dead, so that's all we can do. We can't do recruit Sardinian generals, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, so I do apologize for like me being like super negative earlier, but at the same time, I feel I'm at least a little justified in saying that. I don't like these just really grindy games, but integrating generals. Today, several of the generals that were previously fought for the Kingdom of Two Sicilies has requested to fight for the Italian Imperium. Some feel that they should not fight for Italy, seeing as they fought against us, but others think that allowing them to fight for their shared country would make an excellent statement of national unity. We don't need people who fought against us, they should, pay, they should fight for Italy. Ah, screw it, do it anyways. Establish a Radetta's claim on Sud Tyrol? While it claims over the area is weak, southern Tyrol is an extension of Trentino was once part of the Roman domain. It is in our interest to establish a more permanent claim on the region. Congrats, we get a claim, that's it. Okay, okay, now we can just for order two. But, our dentist claim on Dalmatian Coast, once part of the domain of Venice. The Dalmatian Coast is properly Italian territory, and it's in our interest to establish a more permanent claim on the region. And Lika, uh, was part of the uh, domain of Venice, which I feel like I need to play EU4 now, after doing all this stuff. Um, yeah, and then same thing, the island of Malta. Uh, it was an integral part of Italy, and it's in our interest to establish a more permanent claim on the region. And then once part of the realm of Genoa. Corsica is a properly... A property, a properly Italian territory, is in our interest to establish more permanent claim on the region and claim Libya. Until Italy's loss in the Velcro meant our living colonies restored to the Ottoman rule. It was our most important colony, an extension of Italy itself rather than some far flung estate. We have great plans for the region. Now that our nation is restored, the time has come to claim uh, what is rightfully ours. Which is nice and all, but like I said, just at the, this point in the campaign, it's just, I don't want to do it. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say suffer, but like, we've gone through the entire, you know, Velcro. We got Austria, so I'm feeling pretty good about that, but. Demand Libya. Uh. Serenica. Sultan of Egypt is currently our, the, the colonel overlord of our Libya territory, and the alliance don't come to decide or to demand that they return it to us, or it means war, just as it, we did, as it did in 1912. Declare war on Serenica? So I'm to reclaim Libya, and that means a war with Serenica in order to get it. Viva l'Italia. They refuse, so be it. Uh, I don't want to go to war with them. The Cairo Pact? Seriously, like, I get it that Italy should not be able to just, like, go ahead, charge headfirst into fighting a whole bunch of different people, especially when they start only in northern Italy, but, I don't know, I'd like to see them get maybe an update someday, because there's not, you're just not strong enough to do anything. And maybe the SRI would be easier, maybe, or the two Sicilies, but, it just feels a little underwhelming by the time we get over here, and it's just like, or maybe it feels a little overwhelming, it's like, look at all the entire faction we gotta kill, so. And we could really do it, I suppose we could, but... I'm just not feeling it anymore. After going literally 10 years in the game, I think I'm kind of done with this campaign. I apologize if you want me to go on longer, but I think for an, an actual Italian run, for us, like, actually, like, oh, Seneca's victories in Greek elections? Well, Greece is not a real country now, apparently. But, uh, yeah. For another Italian run, when we do and use Italo Balbo someday, some other time, I think that would be more appropriate for us. But for now, I think I've got to call it quits. So I apologize once again for me being negative and kind of down on this mod. Uh, not maybe not on the mod, but just like on the campaign in general. But hey, if you made it this far in the video, I do appreciate it, man, or woman, or whoever. Uh, if you did like it, you know, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. I apologize once again that we couldn't get all this territory, but thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.